there are two types of dialysis catheters. There's a hemodialysis catheter and a peritoneal dialysis catheter. I'm going to describe the insertions of both the hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis catheter now. The first, the hemodialysis catheter, is a catheter that has two ports. There's an arterial port where the blood comes out of the catheter into the dialysis machine to clean the blood. Once the blood is clean, it's then returned to the body through the venous port. This catheter is placed into the internal jugular vein, usually on the right side, but can be placed on the left as well. The right internal jugular vein drains the blood from the head down to back toward the heart in a straight fashion. The skin is anesthetized just at the base of the internal jugular vein before it connects to the brachiocephalic vein deeper in the chest. The skin is anesthetized here with a small bit of lidocaine, which can cause a little bit of uh, pinch and burn for a few seconds. The, a, a small needle is then introduced into the internal jugular vein using ultrasound guidance. Once I am in the internal jugular vein, a wire is then placed deeper into the central circulation to stabilize the system. Images are taken and made sure that we are in the appropriate place. The subcutaneous tissue is then anesthetized from underneath the collarbone all the way until the insertion point at the internal jugular vein. Once this area is anesthetized, a small incision is made just underneath the collarbone, and the catheter can then be introduced into the skin, underneath the skin, brought out from this area where we went into the internal jugular vein, and then introduced into the internal jugular vein. So when you leave here, the catheter will come out from the chest wall just like this. Everything else is underneath the skin. You can feel the catheter underneath the skin over the collarbone just before it enters into the internal jugular vein. After that, you don't feel it. The tip of the catheter will then be resting at the entrance into the heart. The second type of catheter is the peritoneal dialysis catheter. This type of catheter is placed into the abdomen to perform peritoneal dialysis. I'm going to draw the picture of the abdomen and how we place the peritoneal dialysis catheter to make it clear. If we were to take a picture of the patient's abdomen and sort of cut them in half, from the top down, we would see the skin, we would see some fat or tissue underneath, some muscle under there, and underneath there, the peritoneum which is why it's called peritoneal dialysis. This peritoneum is a very thin lining and it goes around the whole abdomen. Inside the abdomen are the intestines. The intestines are filled and lined with a lot of blood vessels. This is the blood that is being carried to the intestines that has not yet been cleaned because the kidneys are not working. The peritoneum, this thin layer, this thin layer that looks like a stocking, goes around the intestines as well. And so now we have a space, this peritoneal space, that is outside of the intestines, but underneath the layers we described before. This thin layer of peritoneum can act like a filter because it's a very thin layer on the other side of the blood vessels. In order to perform peritoneal dialysis, you will make a small incision next to the belly button, around this, this, this size, one to two centimeters. With ultrasound guidance, after numbing up this whole area, I will insert a needle through this area. And once I'm in this space, in the peritoneal space, between the peritoneum and the intestinal wall, I can introduce a wire to go down deep into the pelvis. This introduction of the wire, some patients can feel as pressure, some patients don't feel it at all. Once the wire is in the appropriate position, over this wire, we place the catheter. And just like we did before with the hemodialysis catheter, we bury the catheter underneath the skin to prevent it from infection. This catheter can then allow the dialysate to enter the peritoneal space and there are a lot of holes on the peritoneal dialysis catheter to allow the dialysate to go everywhere throughout the abdomen, allowing the toxins to flow 
from the blood across the filter, the peritoneum, into this space, thereby allowing all the toxins to be removed just by gravity. After the exchange takes place, all the toxins then come out, and here's the waste. You will have a small incision here, which will be sutured underneath. Those sutures will resorb by themselves. And this is the exit site where the catheter comes out of. 